So let's give it a shot, see what happens. So this isn't a super high traffic term, but people type in companies that pay cash for houses in their city, like we said. This is gonna be a drizzle of uh, traffic, not a, um, not a ton of people. But as, as you continue to add these videos, um, and if you put other keywords in here, you're going to get views for all kinds of different terms. That's why I put so much stuff in here. Um, when you upload a video, you're going to come to this screen, and this is your title right here. This is one of the most important parts. So that's how you get found. Um, whatever you put in here is going to determine how, if you go to the front page. So you're going to want to put stuff that's going to lead to a buyer or lead to a sale or, you know, it's going to lead to someone that wants to do business with you whatever your business is. You can put stuff like how to stop foreclosure in Jacksonville. Just try to put a solution. This person, you know, with this title, companies that pay cash for houses, they're obviously looking for a company that wants to pay cash for their house. Um, you want a clear call to action? We didn't put a website in this one, so we're just gonna put his phone number. Um, I do this in the front, or in the first line. So whatever your call to action is, I might start with click here, and the website name to sell your house fast. I just want to make sure I have it right at the top. Because otherwise what happens is, you see how, yeah, when this goes on YouTube, I'll just pull it up as an example. You're not going to see the stuff if you bury it down there. Let me just pull up a video. You're not going to put a cash for houses in my video, on my ad, are you? I did. I haven't, I haven't posted it yet. I'd rather you didn't. No? Uh, that's not the message I want them to hear. Okay. We pay full price. Okay. Well, I'm trying to use something they're going to search for. I don't know if they're going to search for. Oh, well, they're not going to search for cash either. They do. Yeah, they, well, I would think they just assume that everybody's going to pay in cash. Okay. How about, uh, I want to sell my house fast. Um, yeah, I'll change it, how about after we do it? Because I just want to pick something that I think will actually go up uh, to the top. Sell my house fast in Jacksonville is probably going to be tough to go to number one. Because if we go to Google, everybody's trying to do that here. Well, what's in number one now? Uh, let's see. Brian. Sell my house. He just doesn't want you to replace his videos, Ron. <laughs> We can do a sell my house fast one as well, but I have to add the extra little steps in order for you to get to the top. So it's the company that I used to help market for, JWB. Okay. So that's, uh, there's a good reason they're number one there. <laughs> uh, then Craigslist, sell my Jack's home fast. But you have a lot of people using these in their titles. So. Yeah. No video, which can be a good thing. So um, let's just pull this uh, video up here quick. When somebody goes to a video, it's only going to show a couple. Uh, this doesn't have enough content, but it's only going to show a couple sentences. And there's going to be a little thing that says show more. And you don't want to have to do that. You want to give them a clear call to action right away. If they have to click show more, they might miss it. Even if it's the video is telling them to click the link below, they might not understand or even see that button, so just make sure the call to action is right away. Um, now, we, we're going to use a title that is easy here. Um, you can change these up and make harder ones. We're just going to go into that lesson tomorrow. But down here in the description, you want to use secondary things. So I did put sell your house fast in Jacksonville. Um, I put uh, as is, so we buy homes as is. I've used an abbreviation, so J-A-X. Some people use that terminology when they search online here. Um, I put uh, something I shouldn't have. We buy ugly houses. We'll just change that to homes. Um, I don't want that in there at all. Um, we don't all right. buy ugly houses. I want full price in there. All right. Uh, let's see. To sell your house. To sell. Your house now for full price. That'll work. I'd respond to that before the cash one. So would I. 
telling you, everybody thinks they're getting gas. Yeah. yeah, so we'll put that terminology in there. All right. And I, and I did put a couple areas. I'm going to leave it in okay. just for the title. Full price. We can change this. Because that's totally relative. What is full price? Whatever I say it is. Um, and then I added Jack, uh, Ponte Vedra Beach. Uh, Duval Clay St. John's. Let me serve all this. Take out even in St. Augustine. You can even take out we serve surrounding here. Well, I just want to make take sure we can make the this work. So St. John's County and uh Lake County. Hey, I'm paying for this, I'm gonna get what I want. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so we can we can edit this um, and make any changes. I'm it doesn't take long though. It, it didn't take him long to make the video. It doesn't take long to put this up. It's really easy. And then I'm just going to hit publish. Uh, let's see. You can always go back and change anything that you don't like. I'm going to publish this. And I will change this after, afterwards, the, the title of it. Now we just have to wait a minute until it actually gets uploaded. Why don't you, uh, in your class, why don't you, can they bring their computers? I would recommend it. Okay, so why can't they just sit there in your class and do this? You have to do that. While they're in the class. It's a good idea. Okay. Well, I could do that on the online class, too. You better make a note of that, because you just promised. <laughs> in the um, online workshops that we do, that's exactly what we do walking through. Yeah. So literally, you guys can make your own short video, just like I did, and you they will walk you through mounting it, just like they're doing now, while you're sitting in the room on your own computer. So bring your own computer. Uh, just a real estate channel that I put up. Well, to be on yours too. Yeah. So the question is, you is the keywords what Google is looking for? And yes, so the less competitive or the longer tail um, a subject line is, the easier it's going to be, be able to be found. Um, we actually, or Brian actually shows more advanced strategies on how to get really competitive keywords found uh, with these videos as well. But we just wanted to show you the speed of YouTube videos. The more you create, the higher likelihood you're going to be found for, for these videos online. Yep. Are you looking for it right now, like live? Yeah, it's not, uh, it's not, in, it's not in Google yet, but it's, uh, it's number one in YouTube. Um, so, and the reason why, and many of you may already know, YouTube is owned by Google. So Google loves their own properties. If it's in YouTube, they want to promote it. They want people to stay within their network. And that's why these videos rank so well. All right, so it's just going to take a minute because what, what happens is even though Google owns YouTube, um, Google needs to find that video yet. YouTube, obviously, just because we uploaded it, it's going to find it right away. So we might need to give it a couple minutes. The pressure's on now, Brian. This has to work. <laughs> All right, if my video don't show up there to stop, we ain't going to believe a damn thing you say. <laughs> Well, you know, and there is a lot of people in Jacksonville too. So, doing the that, cash now you're just making stuff. excuses. There's only one that matters. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it just hasn't hit yet. Now it's a bunch of car selling places. Come on, right? So, um, video will get it. No, video. Yeah, it's not necessarily that it's a video that's making it 
um, so powerful it's that it's YouTube. So to explain this, and we'll go in depth into this tomorrow, but every website has an authority. And you know, there's companies like SEO Moz, uh, it's a SEO type company that they build all these tools and things. They have what's called domain authority tool from zero to 100. So zero is being the lowest and 100 is the highest. When you put up a brand new site, your domain authority is zero. So you don't have any authority. You might not even have a zero yet because you might not even have earned that. You haven't even been found yet. But YouTube out of zero to 100 is a 100. And there's different tools online, uh, domain authority checkers, where you can see how powerful a website is. But the closer to the 100 they are, the, fast, the easier it's going to be for you to get number one. Um, so most people are trying to get their websites to the top, and that's really smart. Uh, what I do is I focus on getting to the top with stuff that's already powerful. It's been around, Google trusts it, and I can get on the front page right away. By using all those sites, like for instance YouTube, I'll use YouTube to get to the top, and the video links to my website. So when I continue to create YouTube videos and Facebook pages, uh, you know, a Zillow post, when I'm continuing to use these websites that are powerful, in the background they're building these powerful votes of trust to my site. So while I'm not really paying attention or trying to get my site up to the top, it's going to over time just by not thinking about it. I'm just going right to the easy route and getting. What's that? Good. We're in. Let's see. Come on, Ryan. It's on here. I'm looking at it right now. It yeah, might be page two. Are you seeing it on page one right now? Page one, yeah. It's right below that first uh, video. Oh, really? Interesting. Can you guys put in exactly word for word, though, or can you have something similar? We'll see in just a second. For some reason, mine's lagging. I don't know hey, if it's. Hey, Brian, use a different browser. And yeah, refresh it again. Clear. So some, be, some people are seeing it on page two. It's dancing around because it's new. Some people are seeing it on page one. I don't even know if I'm seeing it yet. Let's see. Yeah. Do you not trust everybody? Are you getting enough instruction? <laughs> Let's see here. While you're pulling that up with, with closed, hopefully I don't mess this up. I want to explain a little bit more of what he's talking about for anybody that needs a diagram, because I always do when he talks about stuff. Oh, the signal now. So basically he's saying is all these sites have way more authority than your current website. And so YouTube is, is a high domain store. I mean, it's, it's YouTube, Google's, Google's score would be 100. And then Zillow and Craigslist, these are all massive sites. Uh, actually, Craigslist doesn't do links, links back anymore. but. Uh, Zillow, YouTube, all these big sites, article sites, things like that, press releases, which is something we're, we've uh, used heavily in the past and we're using some more. And then you have your, your website. So in, normally, your website wouldn't be able to compete. But, however, you can take all 10 listings of, and which we've done, we've done as many as 10 listings on, on the homepage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've taken 10 spots on the entire homepage of Google for one, one search keyword using these other sites like press releases like YouTube, like, like Zillow and Craigslist and things like that, and all the authority drives back to uh, our, our offer our site. In many cases, it's just a squeeze page that leads up into a follow-up se follow sequence. I'll talk more about when I, when I go into the, the event stuff, I'll talk about follow-up sequences and funnels and email sequences and, and, and things like that in the next session, but um, that's really what the purpose of this is. It's really your website doesn't have the power to rank against YouTube, so why not use YouTube to drive traffic to you. So if, if you can't beat them, then join them or, or, or piggyback off of them. That makes sense? Yeah. Perfect. So I might have to wait to show you. For some reason, I, I tried a different browser even. Um, everybody else has seen it. It's not working up here. Other people see it now. I don't know well, we can borrow a phone that it's on and plug it in there. Can you pull, okay. what, does it come up on your phone? It's weird. I might be blocking my browsers. I'm playing games with Google so much. Who knows? I might not, not want them to know where I'm at. 
<laughs> you got Okay. All right, so Brian, you're hey, saved. Hey, there it is. Do this. Okay. And then, all right. So we got to number four. This is nine minutes ago now, already. But you kind of get the the idea, and then you should be able to change some of this stuff. So let's see. How do I delete that? Okay, perfect. Let's see. The more we narrow it down, the further back it's going to be, because it gets harder. OK, so we're still number four without Florida on there, just Jacksonville. Um, we put some stuff in the, not used to using these. We put some stuff in the description, so let's try stuff like Duval County. So we're number one for oh, just change it. I'm not used to using one of these, sorry. But you can see it doesn't have to just be the title. That's why we put stuff in the description as well. So you can put different areas. You'll see you see how it's number one right under the ads? And it's a little bit hard for me to yeah, use this, but basically all of those different keywords, you can keep switching it around, and this is going to be on the first page for multiple terms. So it's not just uh, companies that pay cash. And then I, we can build a little power to that, which we're going to go over tomorrow, where I could get that to the top for um, cash for houses, Jacksonville, sell my house fast, Jacksonville, and a bunch of different terms. And again, the power of this isn't just one single video, it's creating an army of videos in every single area of town, in every neighborhood you can think of, in every county you can think of, with every keyword you can think of. So imagine if, I mean, it took 30 seconds to record this video, if you did it times 100, and you did it over a time span of a few weeks or a few months, how you can take over the entire uh, search universe for the keywords that you're looking for. Uh, and you can do this in real estate, you can do this in product niches. So we talked this same thing to a class maybe two years ago uh, for an information marketing boot camp. And um, one, of the, one of the attendees came back the next year and was like, right after this event, I did that, that YouTube trick that you showed me, and I sold a few hundred in t-shirts, or not t-shirts, but um, affiliate products through, uh, through affiliate marketing on, on weight loss products. It's really that simple that you can do that. You just follow these steps and um, start using it to profit in however you want.